Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Today we are drinking Tommy Doyle's Crushed Pumpkin Ale. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to bring to you a Patreon request by John Goldie. And this one is 1979's Satan War. Sounds pretty epic, doesn't it? <laughs> Sounds spine tingly dingling. This movie is directed by Bart LaRue, and he's actually done tons of voice work in a lot of 60s sci-fi shows. He's all over the original Star Trek. <laughs> he does the voice of the Guardian in City on the Edge of Forever, which is like one of the best episodes. Sally Shermerhorn is in this, and so is Jimmy Drankovich. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's got a drank in his last name, so that's good. It's a one up for us. <laughs> so this movie starts off with some pretty cool opening credits. There's cool music playing. And it's like a slow zoom out of this painting. It starts with a narration saying Bill and Louise have just purchased this house and they're moving in and it was a good deal. It was reasonable. A little too reasonable. <laughs> they start unpacking. You hear another voiceover of Sally. We had a big fight when we moved into the house. We've never had a fight before ever. I was crying. <laughs> They're unpacking and they take out this cross that was on their wedding cake. So they put the cross on the wall. Then almost immediately the cross starts turning upside down. That music. <laughs> See that it's upside down. They get a little freaked out, but nothing big yet. They kind of fix it. Louise goes to go make a pot of coffee as it's starting to percolate all this brown shit. What it looks, <laughs> I think it, it's, they're alluding that it is shit coming out of this coffee pot. Bill comes in. What the hell did you do? <laughs> well, uh, it's clear what she did. She was boiling some shit <laughs> on the stove. <laughs> this chair kind of moves super quick and it hits Louise. At this point, Something's amiss. Cross turns upside down again. <laughs> <laughs> Super long. That night they're trying to sleep and Bill kind of hears something. We don't hear it though. No, not really. No, it's all muffled yeah. and everything. He gets up and gets his gun. <laughs> six shooter. <laughs> Looks around and doesn't see anything and then goes in the bathroom all quick and Louise is in there. Thought I heard someone in the kitchen. She gets all kind of freaked out. She goes and grabs his cross off the wall again and starts like, In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Ghost, get out of our house! <laughs> kind of unsure who she's talking to at this point. Is it a ghost or is she actually thinking that will get like an intruder out Yeah, 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 this ought to do it. Uh, right away the house starts all shaking and everything and they grab each other and they think it's like an earthquake or something. They run out of the house. What was that? And Bill is like, it was just an earthquake, but it's all over now. Let's go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> if it's some storm, how come nothing's happening outside? outside. <laughs> it's only storming inside. <laughs> they put the cross back on the wall. They go to lie down. And the cross, you see it turning again, and it goes upside down again. <laughs> Louise is in the kitchen. She feels something sort of touch her hair, lift her hair up, and feel something's there. And all of a sudden, you see these hands kind of come up her dress, right? Yeah. At night, all this blue-green type shit starts oozing out of the <laughs> ca cabinets and stuff. And when Bill first sees it, he kind of looks at it, he's all, oh, oh. <laughs> Then he just goes outside, sits down, and starts smoking again. <laughs> like, you're not, there's no not urgency to clean this up. And they start cleaning it all up, grabbing at it. With, their, to... with their bare hands. <laughs> like, wouldn't you put on some gloves? Like, you don't know what the stuff is. They go for some drive, and they go to talk about it. Making fun of the fact that Louise got attacked. Yeah, like, yeah they're all kind of joking. And... Yeah, and you just tell him, he leave the rape the sex, and the molestation to me, all right? <laughs> That's like, so what you're kind of implying that you're a rapist? <laughs> then we see that cross turning again. Yeah. Louise is in the room changing, and she gets attacked again, and Bill is reading the paper, and there's all these flames that come up from the paper. <laughs> they get one of Louise's friends who's a psychic to come in and 
get a full picture of the house, what's going on. Somebody committed suicide in the house, and there's an evil presence, and she just kind of does nothing, and then she's gone. <laughs> I have to leave. Yeah, it's like, okay. They decide yeah. to bless the house with the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Leave our house. <laughs> After that, things seem okay, I guess. They go to- <laughs> He's all shaving. Yeah. It's like, like nothing. <laughs> and there's this entity walking around in the house wearing like a ninja outfit. <laughs> <Some> ninja robes <laughs> or something. <laughs> and he's got a knife. Bill gets up, he grabs his gun again, and he goes to search the house to see what that is. That's where we're going to end the plot. So if you want to see what happens with the rest of the movie with Louise and Bill, this ninja entity of some kind, keep watching Satan War. The plot of this movie reminds me a lot of uh, when you first bought your house and you thought it was haunted. Huh. Adam is coming over to see my new house. I am going to Justin's house to see his new house. I think my new house is haunted. Oh? See? Yeah! It won't let me drink! In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, leave this house. Your table's at an angle. Oh, I did not notice. Everything's all right now. Satan War. Is it trash or treasure? Well, that'll start us with the treasure. The effects for this movie, given the type of movie that it is... Given the low budget, <laughs> yeah. ...are actually not that bad, right? The whole attack aspect on Louise is kind of neat. Yeah, I like the way they did it. Like when her hair kind of just flips and you don't see nothing. It just kind of moves and then... When those hands come up her dress or whatever, that, yeah. that's a good effect. Yeah, and also when she's getting attacked on the bed too, you kind of see her movements and everything, but they just show from the chest up, yeah. right? Or the neck up almost. That's all you need, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's effective enough. That is an effective scene. That green foam shit is neat. Again, it's probably a cheap, simple effect, but it works. Same with that, that brown that shit. That shit, yeah, that <laughs> shit coming out of the coffee pot. The paper lighting on fire, that's kind of neat. Yeah, it's again, a simple effect, easy to do, but it works, yeah. right? The whole rape or attack aspect of the movie, they kind of went there before the entity did. Right. Even though the book had been out already, but it's kind of neat that you see this on film. The final scene, there's that robe guy walking around the house <laughs> and Bill's got his gun and good job of building up the tension. At that point, it might be somebody that broke in too. Yeah. The way it's done, yeah, right? It, it does doesn't necessarily have to be a ghost. Right, yeah. The music is treasure too. As soon as the movie starts with the opening credits and grips you in, this music is pretty kick-ass. And that'll bring us to the trash aspect of this movie. Which is also the music. <laughs> yeah. Just because the music is good doesn't mean it has to be played throughout the whole movie <laughs> oh, almost non-stop. The same music. <laughs> doesn't stop. It, does, it never stops. Or it gets to the point where it's humorous. You're just like, every time he hears, like, oh, <laughs> here we go again. Overshadows, like, the, the speech or what's, what they're talking yeah, about, it, too, it, and everything. The music's too loud in the mix. You can't really hear the dialogue when they're talking because that music is too loud. The acting, too, for this movie is the shit. <laughs> it is probably about as amateur as you get. Yeah. It looks like a fucking high school project, right? <laughs> and the dialogue that's written for the characters oh. is abysmal. What is happening? I think we bought a haunted house. I mean, she's probably a little bit of a better actor than the guy who plays Bill, <laughs> but not by much. You really think it's haunted? I don't know. I do. You do? The narrator says, oh, a young couple bought a house. And you look, she's like, she's not young. She's like 
40 something <laughs> yeah. and, and he looks like he's like 20 is like yeah so like, what they don't look like a couple at all there's no character development either they think the narration is good enough for character development but no like yeah. she's like we had a fight well show the fight like show him moving in and getting into an argument and you don't need a narration to say that like the movie's only an hour long <laughs> you could have put that little scene in there where they get into a fight you know? yeah and it would sort of maybe allude to the fact that the house is sort of foreboding yeah, or something, yeah. right? You don't feel anything for these characters at all. No. And the pacing, it's abysmal too. <laughs> and it's its interesting because so much stuff happens right away, right? Yeah. That has an aspect to the haunting, but it's too much too soon. Because of that, it's almost pace too slow. You don't need to see the cross turn <laughs> upside down super slow the whole rotation yeah. yeah like four times in the movie like every time they put the cross back on and it turns upside they show the whole thing again just show it start that's enough that's all we need you don't need to see the whole thing <laughs> Milling. and then when they're cleaning up that ooze shit just show them start to clean it up Good! Yeah. Cut! You don't need to show the whole endeavor. <laughs> yeah. you, you watch them clean up this green shit from start almost to finish. Like, pull out the mop and... Mop. Yeah, like, yeah, we get it. We know you're... that you're cleaning it up. <laughs> Boring establishing shots of outside the house. Like, when you know they're in the <laughs> house. Like, you don't need to keep showing the outside of the house. They haven't gone anywhere. Yeah. We know they're in the house. It's shot so poorly and dark, barely see the house in these establishing <laughs> shots. Cause like, so dark, like, I guess that's a house. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's just bushes. Yeah. It starts off with this documentary style with the narration. Yeah. And then it just loses that from there on. So you're like, did they just give up? halfway through and ah, we're just gonna make a movie now it's not gonna be a <laughs> fake documentary like it's it's kind of confusing as what route they're trying to go it tries to tackle a lot of things but it doesn't do anything well no. at all <laughs> no. this is like way below i'm not sure even what tier uh, this is just above high school yeah. project <laughs> and why is the movie called the satan war <laughs> when there is no satan at all that ninja guy in the cloak is satan <laughs> oh, no. i'll take your word for it is this cloak guy like a ghost or is he like a real person you never find out you don't know because the movie ends with with them leaving the house and that sick narrator they never came back yeah. <laughs> Okay, good enough for me. <laughs> After this movie ends, that narration continues into a different thing. 15 minute voodoo documentary <laughs> yeah. after the credits. Like what? With that same music. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah the same narrator and <laughs> yeah. everything. It's like, is this the same movie? Or? It doesn't really have anything to do <laughs> with the movie. It's one thing if it's a documentary about hauntings yeah. or something, but it's, it's a completely different subject. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it there? <laughs> but is it trash or treasure? Uh, you know what? Treasure. I'm going to say treasure too because <laughs> it's so bad that it is good. Yeah, like you have to make light of the bad aspects yeah. of this movie and just kind of go along with yeah. it. It keeps you entertained because it's so bad. Yeah. It's definitely worth at least one watch. Just it's only an hour long, so it's it's not like it's a ton of time. You definitely give a Satan War a watch if you're in the mood for a good bad movie. <laughs> yeah, don't be upset that there's no Satan. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a movie called Satan War is like, oh man, this is gonna be like the prophecy or uh, something, be some epic thing about some some epic battle yeah, or whatever. Nothing not to do with. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a shitty Amityville horror manga. <laughs> Well, until then, keep drinking.